we feel like it's important to continue to find ways to, to make Thompson High School attractive to the students here. With only a few months left in the school year, final exams are right around the corner. On today's show, we've got the scoop on how you can exempt some of your tests. Our Warriors are back on the court, and I got the details on their season so far in today's sports. Some students in our school have been hard at work over Christmas break. In entertainment, find out how you can support our arts department. These top stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's THS TV. Good morning, I'm Camille Bunch. And I'm Brady Talbert, and this is THS TV. The second semester exam exemption policy has been released for spring 2016. To qualify to an exemption exam, you must have no unexcused absences for the class. With an A average for the semester, you can have no more than four excused absences. With a B, no more than three absences, and with a C, no more than two excused absences. School field trips and pre-approved college visits will not count against you. An additional incentive has been added this year. If the entire student body attendance average is 96% or above, starting January 11th to April 29th, students with an A average can have unlimited excused absences. Students with a B may have four, and students with a C may have three. The attendance count begins Monday and will end the first day of exams, so make sure you're here every day. Now let's toss it to reporter Michaela Williams for a look at this year's Miss THS pageant. With the second semester underway, there are several events to look forward to, but one in particular includes dresses, heels, and a beauty walk. I'll tell you all you need to know about the upcoming Miss THS pageant. This year's annual beauty pageant will be held on February 20th at 7 p.m. But if you plan on participating in this Thompson tradition, that isn't the only day you will need to remember. Similar to last year, THS TV will be holding a clinic Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of the week before the pageant. Also, two days before the event on Thursday, there will be a rehearsal for participants. Anyone interested in competing must come to Miss Dennis's room 315 today during 7th period for a mandatory meeting. Former participant Katie Riley encourages any girl who's considering participating. I tell them that they should do it because it's good for their self-confidence. I mean, I really liked it, and it was a good experience. For more updates on the pageant and other events around our school, keep tuning in. For THS TV, I'm Michaela Williams. With all of the things going on in the world right now, it's hard to keep up with what's actually important. Well, right now, the trending topic on Twitter, no one has won the Powerball lo lottery yet. What's right? That's right, no one has claimed the $700 million prize. With all the buzz surrounding this event, some people decided to take it to Twitter to see what we, the people, had to say. Twitter acquired Underscope Taste, asked his followers how they would quit their job if they won the lottery, and the responses were endless. Each response, presented a, a tweeter hoping to get the attention of a Twitter universe, which they did, with some reaction videos getting up to over 100 views. Now let's take a look at some other hot topics in today's national headlines. After North Korea's nuclear bomb threat, China, North Korea's ally, is speaking out. The nation says they do not stand by North Korea on these nuclear bomb tests. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says they, quote, firmly opposes, end quote. Yesterday, salt miners stuck in an underground elevator in New York were rescued. The 17 workers are now above ground and doing well, after nearly a full Thursday morning stuck under the Earth's surface. Google Cardboard has had an impact on a baby's life. The virtual reality device allowed doctors to set up a virtual operation for baby Tegan Lexin, who was born without a lung and half a heart, 
they were able to successfully save the baby's life. Yeah, game tonight. I'm not going to the game tonight. I've got other stuff to do, but I have been following all the scores and everything on Twitter, and they have been doing so well this year. Yeah, like you said, I won't be there tonight, but also we're obviously uh, streaming online, so I mean, mm -hmm. you can, I can watch, anybody can watch it over there, but uh, yeah, the girls are doing good there. 13-3 um, and three record so far, and the guys are 9-6, and six, so I mean, they got uh, more wins than losses, so I mean, I guess they're doing And I also really hear well. the wrestling team is making a comeback, and they'll be back on the net soon. Yeah, they are at, not to school today, but they're uh, traveling to, um, I think it's Wisconsin. They got a national wow. uh, tournament up there, but I got more on today's sports. But first, we've got your need to know in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. <laughs> Still to come on THS TV. The ban on the wrestling team has been lifted in today's sports. I'll tell you about their strong comeback. You're watching THS TV, your source for sports. This week has been a big one for the Warrior basketball. With two area games both played at home, Tuesday, both of them played at home Tuesday of this week. The Warriors hosted the Hoover Bucks. The Lady Warriors fell to the Bucks, 49 to 45, but it still remained with a 13 and 3 record. The Varsity Warriors also fell to Hoover, 61 to 56, with a record of 9 and 6. Tonight, the Lady Warriors take on the Oak Mountain Eagles. The Lady, War the Lady Eagles have a record of 7 and 6. Tip off for the Varsity Girls game will be at 6 o'clock. Coming off a win over Tuscaloosa County, the Oak Mountain Varsity Boys have a 13-6 record. Tip-off for the boys' varsity game will be at 7.30. We will be broadcasting both of these varsity games, so if you can't make it to the game, you can watch it online. With the reinstatement of the wrestling team, the team is jumping right back into the season on a high note. The wrestling team is undefeated. The wrestling team defeated Auburn on Tuesday, giving them the first win of the season. The very next day, they had a meet at Hoover High School and only lost three of the 14 matches to give them the win against Hoover. Yesterday, the team left to go to Wisconsin to wrestle in a national tournament. For more updates on your Thompson wrestling team, keep tuning in to THS TV. Next Monday at 7.30 on ESPN, the number, rank, number one ranked undefeated Clemson Tigers will take on the one loss Alabama Crimson Tide for the second college football playoff national championship. As of, as of now, the second ranked Tide are six and a half point favorites. While Alabama's a home team, home team town, Clemson also has a link to Birmingham. Dabo Sweeney, the head coach of the Tigers, is an alumni of Pelham High School, just down the road. Sweeney played football for the Tide in the early 90s and won a national championship in 1992 while playing under co Bama coach Gene Stallings. Alabama's offense, led by Heisman winner Derrick Henry, will be very run-orientated, while the Tigers, led by Heisman candidate quarterback Deshaun Watson, will be very fast-paced, hurry-up offense. Defensively, Clemson has a great secondary, but the tie counters with a deep defensive front seven that can rotate in and out when needed. Tune in on Tuesday when we recap the title game. With the ending of the NFL regular season and the road to the Super Bowl 50 in full swing, here are the wild card, wild card matchups for this weekend. Kansas City will face the Houston Texans, while the Pittsburgh Steelers will face off against the Cincinnati Bengals. In NF NFC, the Seattle Seahawks will play the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers will play in the Washington Redskins. In other NFL news, three teams have filed for franchise movement to LA. The Oakland Raiders, the San Diego Chargers, and the St. Louis Rams. This will be the first time the NFL has relocated a franchise in over 20 years if a team is voted to relocate. And in the NBA, the defending champions, the Golden State Warriors, continue to shine above the rest of the league, standing at number one with a record of 33 wins and only two losses, followed by the San Antonio Spurs, the Cle Cleveland Cavaliers, the Oklahoma City Thunder, and the Chicago Bulls. 
That's all of today's sports. Tune in on Tuesday for our more local and national sports headlines. Now back to Camille with more news. When English teacher Jake Huggins and the National Honor Society joined forces over the Christmas break, lives were changed for the better. The groups gave household products to the First Light Homeless Shelter to help families around our area when they finally move into permanent housing. The shelter also received goods and gifts to support its residents. Huggins hopes that he can continue to help the shelter not only around the holidays, but throughout the entire year. Over Christmas break, the THS had the honor of hosting the Auburn University Marching Band as they were preparing for their performance at the Birmingham Bowl. The band had to practice from 12.30 to 4 during rain and shine. There are three THS alumni in the AUMB. One is a majorette, and the other two are saxophone and horn sections. You can catch the marching band on the field during this football season. Now, Madeline, uh, over break, there was, um, we have a group message, and uh, you were yes. actually at the school on oh my Saturday gosh. watching a the marching band. A lot of band kids showed so up. Excited. <laughs> it was so cool. Like, they were in our school, they were in our choir room, band room, and the in both gyms. It was so neat mm -hmm. to and watch And I think it's a really good opportunity just... for kids in the band that want to go, or going to Auburn and want to be in the band in college. Oh, yeah. This is a good Wait, like any college band, it's really cool. I was definitely surprised when I saw that. I was like, the Auburn's at Thompson. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. like a little taken back. Yeah, and I know um, our theater and our choir departments are like, they're just got a lot of got stuff a lot going of stuff on, going on, just going like all the sports teams mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you um, all about our choir and arts departments in entertainment. Still to come on THS TV. Taylor Swift's new video isn't the only thing in the woods. In entertainment, I'll tell you more about Thompson's spring musical Into the Woods. New Year brings new stress. In today's Health Corner, I'll give you tips on how to prevent stress. This is THS TV, Thompson High School Sports Entertainment. I'm Alexis Lundy, and this is your Warrior Weather. Right now, the current temperature in Alabaster is 54 degrees. The weather will stay partly cloudy throughout today, and the temperatures will stay the same into the night. Tomorrow, you can expect rainy skies all day long, so if you have plans, make sure to pack an umbrella. On Sunday, you can expect the gloomy skies to go away with highs in the lower 40s. To start off the week on Monday, you can expect sunny skies with highs in the mid-40s. That's all for today's weather. Now let's toss it to Madeline with today's entertainment update. The cast list has been released and the rehearsals have started. The theater de and choir departments have teamed up for their annual spring musical. This year's show is Into the Woods. The play follows the fo adventures of a baker played by Banton Clendenin and his wife played by Anna Whitlock as they race against time to lift a curse placed on them by the witch played by Hope Martin. Other cast members include Cinderella played by Ashley Pope, Little Red Riding Hood played by Fallon Bowie, and Jack played by Tyler McClellan. You can see them you can see into the woods starting Friday April 12th until the 14th the Thompson High School's choir department is selling popcorn to raise money for their programs the flavors range from kettle corn to buffalo ranch each bag of popcorn is only two dollars and they can be purchased from any magical singer all popcorn is courtesy of the popcorn factory make sure to grab the bag before they are sold out all of our favorite stars will throw on their best dresses and nicest suits for the Golden Globes. The star-studded night will be taking place this Sunday. Most of the stars will be in attendance for this glamorous night, but scant 
But Scandal Scar, Carrie Washington, will not be there. Tune in on Thursday, on Tuesday to see The Magical Night. Music, movies, and more. We've got the scoop in today's Hollywood headlines. On New Year's Day, Taylor Swift's new mu music video, Into the Woods, came out. Out of the Woods came out, and the fans are loving it. Star Wars The Force Awakens topped Avatar to become the number one film of all time in North America. The blockbuster has earned $1.5 billion in box offices worldwide. The People's Choice Awards kicked off awards show season this past Wednesday. The next awards pe show people can look forward to is the Golden Globes on Sunday. Today, scary movie lovers can get excited because the movie people have been looking forward to is coming to theaters, The Forest. That's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Tuesday for more entertainment news. Now let's sauce it to Camille with today's local news update. Trail system. The Regional Planning Commission is giving the City of Pelham $2.5 million for the project, which means planning and designs for the trails can begin very soon. These trails will be used for walking, biking, and hiking. And speaking of hiking, Allison Singletary has the scoop on how you can exercise to reduce stress. With school starting up this week, some students are already starting to stress. Here are some tips to keep this semester stress-free. First, students should start off by keeping a manageable schedule. Not having any time to rest is one of the biggest ways to become stressed. Avoiding procrastination is a major stress reliever and also the biggest problem most students have. Procrastination can affect other parts of your life, such as the quality of your work, your sleep, and your mood. Exercising regularly can also prevent stress. Physical activity can help burn off energy created by stress. That's all for today's Health Corner. Tune in next Friday for more health tips. Now, Camille, if a girl wants to be in the pageant, what do they need to do? They do need to be here during seventh period today. They've mm -hmm. got a really important meeting that they have to attend to get all the information. Are you excited? I am so excited. Are you this, choreographing it? I am choreographing <laughs> the opening cover. This That'll is, be interesting. <laughs> this is my favorite thing that we, mm -hmm. we get to do for News Team all year because we do sponsor this event. Mm -hmm. So, so are y'all excited awesome. that we're going to be working? Yes, <laughs> yes, of just course. Make, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today's news. Follow us on Twitter for more updates on, on events happening this week at CHS. Have a great day.